Okay guys, uh, this is going to be a quick and dirty video on uh, how I um, am balancing my uh, grinding wheels for my surface grinder. Um, I got a new surface grinder, uh, a little grizzly uh, um, benchtop surface grinder. And um, of course the uh, wheels are out of true and uh, need to be balanced. And uh, I don't have a balancing machine or tool. Um, looked up on YouTube and uh, Stan from Bar Z had a great idea here that uh, doesn't cost anything. Yeah, so uh, just to use these, um, I think they're uh, four, five, six blocks. Um, this is a seven inch wheel, um, but uh, you can balance uh, eight inch wheels on this as well too. So I'll do my uh, grinding wheels uh, later with this uh, setup. But um, I've done three wheels already. This is my fourth one. And um, I just want to show real quickly what I did here. So what I uh, did on the lathe is I um, machined, um, let's see if you can see this here, plastic uh, bushing basically that uh, fits inside the uh, grinding wheel. And I also machined a, uh, a pin um, and I polished it and that fits nicely inside the uh, inside there. And of course, the big deal is that you have to have something that's really, really level. Uh, so I went around the shop looking for what was uh, uh, very level, um, accurately level, with a uh, Starrett machinist uh, level. And this corner right here of the milling machine uh, turned out to be uh, really quite level. All right, and real quickly here, this is um, how I level my block. Or I don't level the block, I just put the block on the, uh, on the machine, on the milling machine. And this is a spot that I picked um, because, as you can see, the bubble is within the two lines, so that means it's uh, pretty, pretty dead on. Um, slightly over to the right, but that's that's just 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 a, a hair. That's not going to really matter for um, uh, for for the purposes of balancing. Uh, so uh, anyway, I'll show you what I do here. Um, and this is cheap and easy and works really well basically just push we're pushing in everything is a nice uh, tight fit and um, basically just set it up like that let go and let her drop to uh, the heavy spot so you see uh, how that's going to swing back and forth this could take five uh, five to ten minutes even for it to settle um, so I already marked a point where it does settle so I'm just going to try to slow it down there a bit and I'm going to grab, uh, grab a marker. Yeah, I'm going to mark on the wheel uh, the uh, high spot or the light spot and then on the opposite side I'm going to take off some material and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing there. And it's faster than, uh, the, than the way Stan and uh, a few other uh, pros on um, uh, YouTube are showing. I'm using a diamond bit, and I'll show you here in a sec. Okay, so um, what I'm using here is a, a Dremel tool with a uh, diamond uh, impregnated uh, bit. Um, and what I'm going to do is, instead of using a drill press and a uh, masonry bit to sort of peck out uh, material, I'm going to use this uh, this tool right here to uh, remove uh, material on the heavy side, Roughly like so, that. And I'm going to take up material on both sides, uh, just so I don't have to take off so much from from one side. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna wasn't gonna film all the uh, noise, but um, on this side here, that's roughly an eighth of an inch deep. I marked out sort of the outline of uh, how much material I have removed, um, and same here on the other side. Now, yeah, I know once you get to this point right here, the wheel is no longer useful, but that's that's a lot of material. Like I, I'm not going to be, I don't do a ton of surface grinding, so I'm sure it's going to be fine. So right here, that should be the uh, light spot. So I'm just gonna. Put her down like that, and let go and see what happens. So I still have material to remove. Um, 
but it's but it's better. Yeah, I can tell based on how slow it's dropping down that uh, we're not that far off, but still quite a bit of material to take off. Okay, here's um, here we go again. Here's the uh, little more material removed here, a little deeper. Um, let's see how that uh, that balances now. Okay, well that's a good sign. It isn't. Uh, it isn't moving. That would be the high spot. Uh, so the heavy spot would be there. In theory, if I have it right there, it should drop down. Barely does. So that's telling me that I'm really, really close. Ah, uh, I would say actually that's good. Yeah, I'd say that's good.